Hello and good morning. I am Karen Bondar and this is Friday, June the 24th. I had an amazing time speaking at the 20th anniversary of the Great Blue Heron Nature Reserve last night. It was a gorgeous evening. Um, and, you know, hanging out with a crowd of nature lovers and biology lovers is always a great idea. Um, so when I got my newspaper this morning, I was very happy to see this pit, this uh, headline here. You know this is going to be a headline that I like. Maining woodpeckers put a halt to pipeline work. Hmm. Sounds like a store right up my alley, Paul Henderson. Um, construction on the Trans Mountain Pipeline Expansion Pro Project, the TMX, has finally started in the Chilliwack area, but thanks to a couple of mating woodpeckers, it is on hold at one location uh, near Bridal Falls. Now, of course, I'm making a little bit of light of this because of the headline, but this is actually a really, really um, important and extensive issue. Um, the Trans Mountain Pipeline, of course, is something that has been um, quite a controversial project, especially as the building of it makes its way through Chilliwack. And I know there are some very vocal um, uh, protesters to this pipeline. It is, um, I mean, my position in the world is that carbon-based fuels are not the future. And I think that as soon as um, Canada and many other countries begin to wake up to that, I mean, the thing is, we know this. This is a, the, this is an issue is um, the people who, who create the fossil fuels are the ones that want us to keep using them, right? Of course. Um, and so there isn't always a lot of buy-in from various levels of government who want us to continue using, um, you know, their relationships and all of their fossil fuel-based connections and whatever. Um, it's part of colonialism. Let's get real. Uh, this article quotes Sarah Ross uh, quite extensively. She is from the Community Nest Finding Network, which is CNFN, a group that has spent most of its time in Burnaby um, finding nests and stalling Trans Mountain Pipeline work. So um, this is what we need to be doing out here in Chilliwack far more than uh, has been happening. This group, um, the Nest Finding Network group, has had a lot of success in finding nests where, oh, surprisingly, TMX pipeline biologists haven't found them. Um, volunteers who actually know what they're looking for are going in, finding these critical nests, and um, causing all kinds of havoc uh, for this pipeline construction. So I, I think... For me, it sounds like a good idea for anyone who's a nature lover uh, to learn what uh, the <laughs> what the nest looks like because the TMX project has protocols in place, guys. There's protocols uh, for migratory bird nest survey, and they are guided by the Migratory Birds Cons Convention Act, the MBCA. That means, what does that mean? It means that if the nests are found, they have to stop working. So what does that mean? That means as volunteers, we need to get the hell up there and find the nests. <laughs> so I'm a saying, that's what I got out of the article. And I appreciate that um, at the very bottom line, when great big companies decide to do great big nasty things to the environment, um, a lot of us really, really tiny people can end up doing some great big things by uh, being clever. And so let's be clever. Let's go find more nests. Have a great day. Bye.